Satnam, guys. Hi. We have four pounds today to see what's happening next on your journey. Woo. So, for pile number one, we have this piece of yarn with the tongue. For pile number two, we have this piece of golden foil. Not real gold obviously not yet for pile number three we have this beautiful piece of malachite yummy is what i just heard and then for pile number four we have this beautiful piece of dried rose a little piece of dry rose a little dry rose so this is for pause to see what's happening next on your journey uh, pick your pollen and we'll see you there on concerts. Let's say, come say no, yen. Yen no. Let's do that in doors and anakant eshech sach Satnam, pal one. For those of you who picked this yarn thing. Hmm. For some reason, I feel like this shirt actually makes my face look not as nice. I don't know why. Pile number one, what's happening next? I feel like maybe you bought something or you're wanting to buy something um, or you're, you're gifted something or, and you're going to be like, oh, that's nice or whatever. But then like an Isaac, you're going to be like, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> like that was a bad man, man. I'm not going to. But let's see. Seven of Pentacles. So there's definitely some kind of investment that either you're going to be regretting or you're going to be very thankful for. Um, and maybe you're only going to be thankful for a judgment after you really see it for what it is, maybe. Like, you might only be projecting something. Like, me thinking, I don't look good in this shirt. Like, that might be me projecting. You get, yeah, Queen of Wands. Exactly, because you're good. So, pile number one, I feel like what's happening next for you is um, there's something that you invested in. There's something that you did. There's something that you grew or started growing or something. Seeds that you planted. Um, and you might be thinking, like, oh, uh, it might have started sprouting, and you might be in this energy of, like, this isn't really what I wanted. Um, something like that, okay? But I feel like you need to kind of push through with it because something's about to, like, blossom fully, and you're going to be like, oh, my God, it is what I wanted. Or, like, damn, okay? Yeah, the hang, man. I feel like there's definitely just, like, this perspective uh, shift needed. You're seeing something. I don't want to say incorrectly, but you're not seeing the full picture of something. Um, I'm getting for some of you, there's some kind of, like, uh, spiritual... Um, spiritual forgetfulness or something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> Strength reverse... Yeah, I feel like something wasn't panning out the way you'd hoped or something wasn't working out the way you, you'd hoped or the, how you thought it would. And because of that, um, you maybe thought like, oh, this isn't your path or this isn't your journey or maybe it's just not meant for you. I even think it might have left you feeling very like, this feels like very like utter disappointment maybe even. You were like, oh my God, what the fuck? But like, uh, quite honestly, in reality, I feel like it's going to be very, very good. Princess of Pentacles reverse and Judgment reverse, the Hierophant reverse. Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, King of Wands reverse, the Sun. Listen. Listen. This might be some kind of like group dynamic. This might be some kind of like organization. Uh, this might be some kind of like company maybe even that you're dealing with. Um, the Hierophant reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, Three of Swords, the Tower reverse, and the Magician. I feel like the judgment, I feel like the judgment that you call on this, on this situation, like you already called some kind of judgment on this situation, right? Um, and you decided like not to party or not to like reunion, uh, reunite or something like that. But like, 
I feel like since you called this judgment, you've maybe seen like a different perspective on things. And so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like if like whether this be a job or a person or whatever, if there was a separation, it was because you had to see something from a different perspective. OK, if you're still seeing it from the same light as you did a couple of years ago or a couple of months ago or whatever, then I feel like you haven't learned your lesson. OK, like because there's something uh, there's something about this, about the situation that like. Uh, you grew or that you invested in um, that you are still not seeing correctly and I feel like what you're not seeing correctly is that like you are the source of this thing it's like 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 if you if you went through a lot of like energy or a lot of consciousness vibes of things like um like these people are out to get me or they're like taking from me or like something like that or like they they don't uh I just heard admire they don't like uh they're not grateful for me or something like that. Uh, I feel like I feel like that was like your own wound, your own your own um, uh, bullshit being projected onto some kind of situation. Okay, and I feel like what's happening next is you're like either gonna fully integrate this or you're gonna take some kind of action away from actually uh, projecting that wound. <sighs> Because I'm hearing, I'm hearing since you are the source of this, um, this thing in some kind of way, like energetically or spiritually, you're the source of this like, uh, um, uh, collaboration or dynamic or a group or something. Um, it doesn't really matter if somebody, if, if, if it's not like working out the way you didn't want it, or if somebody's trying to, uh, misjudge you or whatever, uh, it doesn't matter because you're the source of it. Right. And so because like that perspective shift is, um, about to happen. And I feel like because that perspective shift is happening, um, I don't necessarily say you are going to reunite or you're going to go into union with this job or this person or this, whatever. Um, I, do however see you having some kind of like upper hand um after the fact it's kind of like it's kind of like um like uh, like maybe like really wanting to belong but then recognizing that like you are the odd one out because you are uh, uh not just like the the actual like 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 uh, the cool one or whatever <laughs> uh the different one but because you are the source of it because you are the I'm, I'm even hearing for some of you like the intelligence behind it or the like the life force behind it or something like that okay and like because you, you're noticing that uh it's kind of like because you're noticing that aspect of yourself it's kind of like 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 uh, if it doesn't work out the way you want it like it doesn't matter because you just change it or if if, if it's not um if somebody's trying to hurt you then you just like like fire them or shit like that okay uh because quite honestly i feel like you might have been you might have been in some kind of like um like 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 uphill battle at some point but in reality you were in an uphill battle with yourself because like not only are you that person that you were waiting for but like you are the person that is um uh, like you dream you you dreamt the things into existence so the energies that were not working out for you was your own dream okay I feel like you're I feel like you're finally walking into this like state of recognizing your actual full power but living from that and not having any kind of outside influence um tell you or dictate how you should move or be because you're the source of that you're the source of even that outside influence okay Thank you so much, pile number one. Um, if you don't like it, change it. Like, like you don't have to throw it away or sell it again or anything like that. Just change it. Just like, um, I, I'm, I'm thinking about this, this TikTok that I saw yesterday. It's about like these two puzzle pieces that like try to come together. But then one of them like was a little bit like too um, different in shape. And so he like put, he, he like cuts himself and then they try it again. And there was almost a fit. And so he like cut himself again and then they fit in perfectly. Um, so it's kind of like, 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 uh, you're the one doing the cutting of self, but you're also the one requiring the cutting and you're the one watching the cutting. And because of this, like very high consciousness, um, I don't know, like you, you I don't know, you like beat the system. Okay. Um, like you are the system, bro. What am I talking about? Like you beat yourself. Anyway, thank you so much, Paul Number One, that was your reading. Bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, yeah, let's say two zero. <sighs> Sub num, pile number two. For those of you who picked this golden leaflet wrapper thing, um, 
this is gonna be a reading to see what's next so maybe maybe you're finding I, I just heard a lost opportunity maybe you're like picking up a lost opportunity that's confirmation you're like refinding a lost opportunity or you're finding something that you know has some kind of potential and you are uh putting your life into it ace of cups exactly you're putting your life force into it really pouring into something i feel like you're about to like pour all of you into something because you know I'm, I'm hearing like not everything that glitters is gold but because we're alchemists we can literally turn anything into gold so especially if you find something that seems like gold looks like gold and like um almost could be gold um it's much easier for you to actually turn it into gold and something that doesn't you get what i'm saying so yeah and uh, quite honestly pile number two i've actually noticed uh, let me share this story i've noticed that this is what the gods are like when 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 creator created everything like and he created the gods like the gods the gods came into existence in the void in nothing in nothingness and so they kind of had to be like these hobo spirits just like wandering around like like picking something up and throwing it or making something themselves you get what i'm saying like, they didn't, they weren't, like, that's how I experienced it, at least. I hope I'm making sense. Five of Pentacles reverse. Exactly. It's like being born in nothingness doesn't mean you're poor. It means there is, um, I'm, I'm hearing abject poverty. Uh, it doesn't mean you're poor. It means there is a whole infinite spectrum of possibilities for you to create, okay? So I feel like, I feel like maybe you're in that kind of consciousness without recognizing it. 11-11, very high consciousness. You might be in that consciousness without recognizing it, or some of you might recognize it. However, I feel like what's coming next for you, pawn number two, is you're taking this, um, you're literally taking, like, lead, and, and you're picking up, like, like gold like this and it's turning into real gold you're picking up connections and people that you see some kind of potential in and it turns into actual potential it turns into actual um like relationship gold okay uh, you see a business opportunity anything like that and you're like yeah that could work it's gonna fucking work okay that's what's about to be next for you pawn number two like whatever you touch like um it's it's becoming gold okay whatever you whatever you um like like it doesn't even have to be like close to gold i'm just saying that's easier for you i feel like you're about to have an eye for all of these um opportunities and stuff as well this is also giving me the same energy as like um like what you choose to invest in will prosper will grow okay but you, it's because you're putting your life force into it so I'm even hearing uh, your higher self tell you, like, uh, like literally just choose or whatever. Like, just, just say, okay, this is close enough or whatever, like a god would do, like a goddess would do. And be like, okay, well, this is the thing I'm creating now. You get what I'm saying? Eight of Cups reverse. Yeah, like, you don't have to walk away from something... <laughs> that you know has potential okay like even god had to put in work with 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 the earth like seven days like six days but you get what i'm saying so it's kind of like just because something isn't real gold it doesn't mean it's not real gold you know because like in the grand scheme of things everything is everything and so don't walk away from something that you know um in spirit is gold if that makes sense even though it's not gold on the surface or something, like in spirit, it truly is, okay? So, like, don't, um, don't, this is giving the exact same energy as polymer, well, not the exact same, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like this is more like an act of choice you're going to be making in regards to actively turning something into gold, okay? This isn't something that you've necessarily already done, it could be. But uh, maybe go check out pile number one as well. Yeah, judgment reverse. Go check out pile number one. And the nine of cups. I'm telling you, you're about to have... Justice! You're about to have a wish fulfillment. King of cups, three of swords. Because you turn... You, because, listen, the pain itself is the gold, right? The pain, the heartache is the gold. Um, you might, it, it might seem like, what the fuck? But, like, you're on a higher consciousness, so you know exactly what I'm saying. Um... You're about to strike it very lucky, pile number two, with some kind of wish fulfillment. But it's only because, pile number two, like, like you see the potential in something. Because, like, you see, like, you see gold faking not to be gold. Do you get what I'm saying? You see, you see perfection faking imperfection. Or you're about to. You get what I'm saying, okay? 
And like, I feel like also maybe you're getting this wish fulfillment pile number two because you spotted the, the gold amongst the fake gold or because you spotted the gold inside the fake gold or something like that. You get what I'm saying? And gold is not just about money and value. It's about like alchemy. Um, it's about like the spiritual alchemy, right? Like turning lead into gold, turning the inner lead into um, inner gold, becoming powerful, becoming godlike, Christ-like, etc. So I even feel like you won something with this justice. You like even won something. Like it's kind of like you won a wish fulfillment or something. Again, because you can spot the gold in the illusion of it not being gold. And for some reason, I'm hearing that that requires some kind of purity or something. It requires a very pure, not a very pure heart, like, but it requires some kind of pure heart or pure perspective or pure desire uh, for you to have been able to spot the gold in, in its... Um, and in, in it's in the state that it was. Anyway, uh, thank you. I feel like that's actually sufficient. That was a really nice energy for me, Paul number two. That was lovely. Uh, do the thing and I'll see you again for no one, boy. I'm gonna do 16. So we're gonna wait a couple of seconds. Let me take a sip. On my tea. <clears throat> Satnam, poll number three, for those of you who picked this malachite. This is going to be your reading to see what's happening next. I just heard something about a tree. Because I wanted to say Satnam, poll three, for you who picked this green crystal tree. This green malachite tree. Um, King of Cups. There's something a lot to do with emotions because malachite has a lot to do with the heart space as well. It must have been love. But it's over now. And the two wands. What's happening for you, Paul number three? Okay, I thought like you might think something's over, but it's not. And that like uh that notification was also confirmation, okay? What's happening for Paul number three? And also do you realize that Malachite is a hugely transformative stone, especially when it comes to like your heart space, especially when it comes to like love relationships, um, like grounding in that energy into your field, okay? Like it, like self-love, Jesus. If you if you have any kind of issue with love in general, like I, I recommend you get a piece of Malachite and watch your life transform like a motherfucker, okay? Watch your love energy energy transform so five of swords mm. what's happening next for pile number three five of swords prince of pentacles reverse somebody wants to keep teaching you some kind of lesson but the only reason they want to teach you a lesson is because they're not willing to open up or they're not willing to they want you to see things from their perspective but their perspective is very fearful and so they try to put you in like some kind of tower like, they keep wanting you to learn some kind of lesson, but quite honestly, I feel like for some reason, I feel like every time you learn this lesson, pile number three, it's kind of like you sacrifice it because, I don't know, it's almost like the lesson you learn is, like, never good enough or something. It's like, 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 yeah, I get it, but, like, it's not perfect or something like that, and somebody i feel like somebody is I, I don't necessarily think somebody's like judging you but somebody is what's happening next part number three is i feel like i feel like you've gone through a certain uh period or certain cycle or certain communication with somebody or a consciousness or something and i feel like you realize that this thing is trying to consistently like not test you but like teach you something like teach you a lesson or something like that but again every time you like learn the lesson you're like okay cool okay cool like i get it and i feel like what's happening next is like i feel like is this gonna happen again because i feel like this thing is just going in circles like this person just continuously wants to teach you a lesson and you're like no i'm good and they're like i don't need this it's like this person is trying to maybe teach you an energetic lesson but from a very like like matrixy or or, or pre-learned perspective or something and so like i don't know the lesson is just not sticking because like i feel like you're greater than that you have some kind of automatic uh, uh, sacrificial energy where you sacrifice anything that doesn't serve you. Like it just doesn't enter your field. 
so I feel like this person that's been doing this or this consciousness that's been doing this might be going through some kind of self revaluation. So this is actually nothing to do with you. I feel like this person might be going through some kind of hectic transformation because like none of their, I don't want to say mental tricks or something, but like none of their like illusionary beliefs, they might not know it is, or like illusionary perspectives are sticking onto you. It's like every time, every time they tell you something, like you have something better to say back. Like not that it's a competition, but it's like any, every time somebody thinks they have you in like some kind of checkmate position in regards to mental stuff or emotional stuff or spiritual stuff, uh, you're like, yeah, but this. And then you like kind of lay down like some facts or like the truth or something. I feel like this person is going through some kind of inner tower. This person is, is going through some kind of like... um. I just heard self-deception as well. What's this energy? Like, what do you call it when somebody's like, like, like most inner core beliefs are questioned? They go into some kind of like, not defensive energy, but like, it's almost like people become like very, um, like, what the fuck? When their like core beliefs are questioned. So I feel like what's happening next is like, instead of you being in this internal tower, like this person that was trying to like teach you this lesson is going to be in this internal tower, Okay six of pentacles temperance reverse or maybe or maybe or ace of cups as well or maybe temperance reverse the full reverse justice reverse nine of swords i'm telling you i feel like maybe th for some of you palm number three this could have been your actual uh like masculine or something because listen the masculine energy or it could have been your feminine or like it doesn't really matter just like just let me tell the story um, like, like some, like the masculine tends to think in a lot of like logic things. Okay. The masculine energy is very direct. It's very like, okay. Whereas the feminine energy is much more like this. You see much more, but the energy masculine is much more thorough or much more, not thorough, but like, like that. So I feel like this energy could have tried to, this energy could have tried to like take this energy of yours and again not put it to the test but show you that like this energy isn't worth it or it's like it's better to go this way or something but i feel like because you consistently do this with your energy you see a much greater picture or a much grander picture or you you are able to handle a lot more of the spectrum than this energy can and because of that this this person um is like It's kind of like they love, they love that they maybe like, like feel some part equal to you. It's kind of like maybe this consciousness always thought that they were like the best or the strongest or something until they met you. You get what I'm saying? And now they're like, okay, I see you, you know, like respect or some shit like that. So like, I feel like you're about to, you're about to receive some kind of um, respect even from some kind of uh, consciousness that was always like trying to teach you some kind of shitty lesson. Because I feel like you kept teaching this person a lesson or this consciousness a lesson. I'm even getting something about like being in college or some shit. And this person is like, yeah, like, like, yeah, youngin, youngin. But then, I don't know, like, you teach this college kid a lesson as this, like, seven-year-old. Like, spiritually speaking, you get what I'm saying? Anyway, thank you so much, file number three. There's a lot of heart expansion happening. But I feel like this is more for somebody else. And I, what's happening next is you're about to receive that. I'm even hearing gratitude. I feel like you're about to receive some kind of gratitude from somebody. Three, three, three. This could be just energetically, right? Um, but you're about to receive something from somebody. And I feel like this could be a tower. This this could seem like a tower. You could be like, what? Me? Like, you? Like, you think I'm cool? Or some shit like that, right? Or this could be that person even because you might not notice this. But, like, I feel like for some reason the self-sacrificial energy of yours even... And it's not just, oh, I'm a martyr, it's, oh, no, uh. sorry, you guys, trigger warning. It's not that kind of self-sacrificial energy. It's like, mm -hmm, like, this is not serving, you know, that's what I'm talking about. And you might not know this, but like, like, like this consciousness that might have thought that like, you were just a, like, is actually like, wow, like Jesus, you know, like, fuck, man, or something like that. Like, from one geezer to another. You know what I mean? I don't know why. But anyway, okay, that was your reading, poem number three, bye. <laughs> Okay. 
Let's say two, four, three, zero. Hi, Paul. Number four is Urt Ebesech Nenektan. For those of you who picked this a droid rose, this is going to be a reading to see what's happening next. Revitalization, the devil. But the devil likes it dirty, don't he? He likes ugly and like sticker and like. Anyway. Mm hmm. I made friends with the devil and now he sucks my dick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Satan's new replacement. Satan's new replacement, but with red eyes, I'm hella high. Poll number four, what's happening for you? The sun! Look at you, poll number four! Wow, this is like the best card, as we know, right? So, and I'm feeling it. You're about to be very happy. You're about to be fucking blessed. You're about to be in God consciousness, in God abundance. You're about, I'm hearing stuff about sex. I'm hearing money. I'm hearing uh, the high life, the good life. I'm hearing spiritual downloads. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm feeling you soar and fly and... Jesus, okay, that was, like, everything, everything is about to be so fucking good, you know what I'm hearing, it's like you're a rose, it's like you're God's rose, even if you're not a rose, uh, or like you're, like, 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 like you're the universe's rose, or you're your own rose, okay, and, uh, because of that, like, I don't know, I don't even, I don't, like, I don't necessarily say, like, you're pure or perfect or beautiful or anything like that. I just feel like there is some kind of very intense divine love that's about to surround you. Like, a very intense love from God or from the universe or from your higher self uh, that's about to shine on your life. And I feel like you're, a, like, like, you saw my eyes, like, you're about to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Wow, this is really cool energy. This is such lovely energy. Let's just sit with that quickly. Because it feels like this this sun energy, like the sun can be really harsh sometimes, but this energy feels so soothing. It feels so soothing. Wowzers. The devil. Ooh. The sun is, like, the sun isn't only shining on the devil and on your darkness, but I feel like the light and the dark has come into union, or is about to come into union. This is full integration. This is full integration of, 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 of like, every aspect of your being, of your life, of your experience, of your, um... Like everything that didn't fit in or that like clashed or that uh, didn't make sense or that scared you, made you sad, made you overexcited. All of these things, like there's there's like perfect fucking union in your energy, Paul number four. You're about to be in perfect union. And like, I actually kind of want to want to end the energy just there. Like I actually kind of want to end the, 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 like not even draw more cards um, because I feel like that's all that matters. Like this is perfect union. This is perfection, but I'm going to continue anyway. Okay. Six of pentacles reverse and the 10 of swords. Four of wands. Chariot, five of pentacles, the empress reverse, nine of pentacles, seven of swords. Listen, <laughs> If you resonate with being, um, like, okay, I'm not gonna get into, like, that energy, like, like, twin flames, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you resonate with being a divine, a divine being, you resonate with being a star seed, a divine being, I mean, we're all divine beings, we know, but not everybody knows and not everybody wants that, right? So, whatever. If you resonate with that kind of consciousness, with having some kind of mission, with, like, if you're awakening, you need to recognize that, like, uh, the darkness is not is never going to be left behind right it's never going to be severed it's never going to be um like gone because that's a part of the picture so i feel like you know this so it's kind of like this ten of swords darkness energy i, I feel like this came up in a in a in the collective the other day maybe yesterday this ten of swords energy this devil energy that you went through um was the sun right in a sense of like you might have you might have experienced the devil energy as the devil 
But I feel like because of your healing, because of your awakening, because of your because of the love that you have for yourself, that God has for you, that the that your higher self has for you, blah 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 blah. You no longer see this devil as the devil, but you see it as the devil. You get what I'm saying? Because like if you look at the yin yang from a yin yang perspective, or you like look at the yin yang from the outside, if you look at the everything from an outside perspective, it doesn't look like like black and white. It's black and white, you know, and the one thing is in the other, and it's the same thing, and then blah 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 blah. Okay. So I feel like if you were in any kind of situation that you felt like was um backstabbing you, was sacrificing you, killing you, destroying you, um, if the person was doing that, if the 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 company, the like whatever, like if anything was doing this, I feel like you're about to be in this energy of Being in love with it. It's like you're saying like, let me show you where it hurts and then you have to make it hurt better. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you fall in love with the pain. You fall in love with the darkness. You fall in love with your whole self. And I feel like you're coming into some kind of twin flame union here. And I feel like, I th like, listen, we both have light, we both, we both have dark, right? I feel like, I feel like you coming into union with this darkness is leading to um, you coming into union with your twin. Like, I feel like, 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 I know this, this could sound a little bit like, yo, 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 like I keep saying this, but like, like truly, like, I, I don't know how else to say this because like energetically, it just makes sense. Like once you're in this union with yourself, which you're about to be after this, like death or ending, there might be some kind of ending that's yet to come, like about to happen. Could be, it could have happened already. Okay. Either way, um, you're in intense union with yourself, like every aspect of yourself and you're getting, I feel like, like I keep feeling like an outside energy as well. Um, you're, you're coming into union with the devil. You're coming into union with the sun. Okay. The, the, the devil and the sun, the devil and God are coming back into union again. Like the cycle is over. The cycle of separation is over. That's what's happening next. Your cycle of separation is over upon the floor. And you're about to be in um, extreme light, extreme consciousness, extreme um, happiness, okay? Thank you so much, boy!